Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be a vlog. We're traveling to Gatlinburg. Super stoked to share today's travel vlog with you guys because we are traveling to Gatlinburg, Tennessee. This city holds a special place in my heart. This is actually the fourth time I am traveling to this city, but we are staying in Sevierville, Tennessee. Um, we did Airbnb a cabin, which I'm gonna be able to show you guys, but unfortunately some parts of this video is going to have to be a voiceover because I am traveling with my family and their family. So essentially there's 12 of us going in this trip and we all have kids, so it is gonna be very interesting, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. To add to the fun, we're actually spending Christmas over there. We left December 22nd and we got a free night to spend at the cabin because of the winter storm hitting Tennessee and Georgia. Okay, everyone, so we just got to the cabin. So you guys are gonna get a tour. All right, everyone, so this is the home. This is the kitchen and living room slash dining room area. I do wanna let you know my intention was not to make this part a voiceover, but because I was overly excited and exhausted from taking everything out of the truck and unpacking, my voice was just not it, and I wasn't about to put you guys through that. So with that being said, you already know I don't gatekeep, so I'm gonna let you guys know how much we paid per night and my honest opinion and review on this cabin rental. This cabin was listed for 12 people, but of course, 15 of us did end up going last minute and each of us did pay $185 per night. Initially, we were going to only stay for three nights, but we ended up getting that free night. So it makes four nights for the price of three. So this is the guest bathroom located on the first floor of the cabin. It literally reminds me of our bathroom back home because it's almost the same size. Obviously this doesn't have a shower, but ours does. But I figured this was so cute to film because it's so little. Another thing we found really funny was the decor. Like we didn't know where they were going with it. And you'll see what I'm talking about. Like we didn't know if it was rustic or cabin. And then next I'm showing you guys or I'm pointing to the stairs because that was worrisome for us because we do have three children that are coming. Well, essentially two, one that crawls and one that's walking. So we were really scared of those stairs. We did end up coming up with the solution to that. And I did also point to the games, which is typical for a Airbnb rental. So the bedroom that you're seeing now is located on the first floor of the cabin. It is considered the master bedroom. I say this because I actually realized that they have a different shower than the ones located downstairs. Now, there was a couple issues with the rental. I'm going to be straightforward with that. Now, on the first floor, the jacuzzi did not work, unfortunately. So remember when I said we got an extra night because of a winter storm? Well, our fireplace wasn't working and it didn't ever work. And we actually got no electricity for a couple hours. Um, so we had no heat and we had no use of the fireplace. So we did end up paying the price for that free night. But you know what? We still remain grateful. It was only a couple hours. We stuck it out throughout the night. And before we knew it, we woke up the following morning at 6 a.m. and our heat was back on. So it wasn't very long. Oh, and I guess I should mention this is the master bathroom the shower here is so much prettier but so rightfully so since their jacuzzi didn't work and by the way we didn't stay upstairs we actually stayed downstairs because we had a six month old a two year old and a one year old traveling so we wanted to keep the kids downstairs because of the stairs Okay, so we're back in the living room. We finally were able to figure out the lighting fixtures. Originally, the lighting was pretty terrible because we couldn't figure them out, but it was all remote control. And this was me showing you guys the actual view. It was so cute. And here is the porch located on the first floor. There was a lot of doors located in this home, so I had to make sure that all of them were locked appropriately because of the kiddos. 
that was me pointing to the infamous gas fireplace but this is the living room space what i liked about it was the amount of space available for everyone to sit and come together we did end up playing some games when the electricity did go out so that was fun and of course the high ceilings and then i'm just panning back to the kitchen because i do like the kitchen fixtures and the dining room fixtures they're kind of cute like i said i don't know where they were going with the decor I'm gonna be brutally honest, I think part of us was kind of like, mm, you know, it could have been decorated a little bit better, but you know, on top of that too, if you look at the floors, I don't know if you noticed by now, but the floors are pretty scratched up. Reason being was this cabin was actually one of the cabins that was dog friendly. And the other family that was traveling with us did have pets, so it did make it hard for us to actually get a cabin that was dog friendly, and of course that was available during Christmas. Regardless, I'm a thousand percent grateful that we still were able to make this trip. I did pan to this side of the home because of the teddy bears. I thought they were very cute and my son actually really enjoyed them and took some cute little pictures. Again, I'm giving my 100% review on this cabin. That is why I am stating the stuff that I am stating. But now we're moving along to downstairs. And this is why I was so scared because you see how steep it was. And look at my little baby he had so much fun with this arcade machine it was so much fun like me and him stayed playing we actually taught him how to play pac-man for a two-year-old i must say he did pretty good so the room that you're seeing my son in is actually the game room and the game room separates the two bedrooms downstairs. So this is one of the bedrooms. It's pretty much the same model as the one upstairs except with different decor. Now the two bedrooms downstairs do have a door like this that is actually able to lead you outside to the porch where the hot tub is located. You already know your girl is a germ phobe, so she did not go outside to enjoy this hot tub because I was just too scared about the germs. <laughs> Another thing that I'm gonna give my honest opinion, and this was all of our fault, was we didn't really invest into looking into these sofa beds. Now this sofa bed does pull out and it becomes a twin bed, which I do not recommend, like zero out of 10 recommend. Please, please, please make sure to bring an inflatable bed just in case you're not happy with the mattresses that are provided with these sofa beds. And of course, this is the jacuzzi again, same thing that you saw upstairs, but I did end up using the jacuzzi because I actually sanitized everything. I mean, like as soon as I finished this video, I sanitized everything and I felt more comfortable using the jacuzzi because the water was actually not from a hose because the hot tub water was filled with hose water. <laughs> So moving along, we're now back into the game room. This is what I mean about the decor. I actually did enjoy those two canvases. They were very vintage. And then here you're seeing the laundry room, which is just your dryer and your washing machine that came included with the rental. And here I am panning to the pool table because I forgot to show it off. My husband loves playing pool. I do want to also mention that the upstairs and downstairs did have their own AC and heat unit, which was really nice because we didn't have to fight over it. like, oh, I feel too hot. And this is what I meant about the closets being pretty large. It actually fit multiple luggages in here and all our clothes because it was four adults sleeping in this one room along with two children. Ready for another thing that I don't gatekeep? Well, me and my husband have traveled so much with our son since he was literally the age of one. And what we decided to buy from Amazon was this Hiccupop foam mattress for his play yard. And let me tell you, it's been a lifesaver. It's super comfortable, especially if you don't want your toddler or your baby sleeping with you guys in the mattress. So I'm gonna link it down below if you guys are interested in purchasing it. So we are in the last parts of this tour. So this is just me being nosy going into the cabinets because this is my room and I want to make sure everything was clean because, you know, they say they clean it, but it's not always clean. All right. So that is all for this tour. I'll see you guys in the next part where we do tourist things. Bye. Okay, this footage is actually from the 23rd. We ended up staying in on the 22nd, just getting a feel for the cabin and relaxing in the jacuzzi. But we decided to go to IHOP the following morning and it was starting to snow and it was extremely cold. 
So on the same day on the 23rd, that evening, we decided we wanted to take a spontaneous trip down to the Gatlinburg Strip. And we didn't have the kids, so we ended up doing some wine tastings, and it was actually pretty fun. However, it was pretty cold that night. I believe that it got down to negative three degrees in Gatlinburg. We were wearing tripled, if not double layers, and we decided we would walk and take breaks in between and kind of go to different stores and different like tastings because Gatlinburg is known to have so many wine tastings and so many cider tastings and even moonshine tastings. It was fantastic. 10 out of 10 and recommend. There's just so much to do in Gatlinburg and the surrounding cities. I tell this to everyone that visits Tennessee that there is just so much to do and not enough time. There's still certain things and places that I still have yet to go to. So yeah, this is not going to be the last time I visit this city because there's still a lot more things that I wish to attend to. This is the Bootleggers Homemade Wine Store. We did end up purchasing their $25 bottle of the Blueberry Pie Wine. It is so delicious and if you guys are not into strong wines, you would definitely enjoy this particular wine next we are in elkmont winery and this was one of my personal favorites as well because the service was phenomenal i can't think of the lady's name that served us but she was fantastic now i will say most places their bottles are 25 dollars and they do run specials if you buy more than one most places do allow you to sample three for free and if you wish to sample all of them you only pay five dollars which honestly is such a steal because you get to have fun with it and be adventurous Wasn't that water fountain so gorgeous? I don't even know how that fire stood up there. But this is us walking to the olive oil tasting place that my husband wanted to go to, which did end up being closed, but we did also go another day. So the next clip is going to be us going out to eat to the Italian restaurant, which I've been here before for our honeymoon, and it was fantastic then, and it still was today. <laughs> So now that our stomachs are full, we are on the way back to the cabin. So I'm going to let you guys enjoy the ride and look around and see the shops that Gatlinburg has to offer. Oh, another place that I've been meaning to go to is Bubba Gump. I find that name so funny, but I didn't get to try their food this time. If you guys can let me know in the comments if you've been there before and if you find the food good. Also, look how windy this road was going up to the cabins. Like, it was pretty scary because I felt like the truck was going to tip over and fall off a cliff, but it didn't. But I just wanted to film this and show you guys how dark and how secluded the cabins were. So this is December 24th. We ended up going back to Gallenberg. We did end up paying another $20 for parking. So just a heads up, what I do recommend is for you guys to stay within walking distance of places you wish to visit. My husband and I love to go to candy apple stores, so we obviously had to stop at the little shop to get us some caramel apples. Now, the store we went to a couple years back was not open, so we decided to go to, I believe this is called the Chocolate Monkey. And then, of course, my son fell in love with this little rainbow monkey, so we ended up purchasing it. Look at all those desserts and ice cream over there. The Gallenberg Strip is filled with places you can get desserts. I highly recommend them because they're very delicious. So now we're at the Tennessee Stud, which is the cider tastings. I absolutely love this. If you know me, you already know that I love me some ciders. I am going to try to list on the screen my favorites. So now we're at the good old Smoky Moonshine Distillery. I actually really enjoyed this place. And me and my father got to do some tastings. It was $5 to taste eight of the moonshines that they had available which i'm gonna go ahead and let you know that the moonshines were not that bad for me there was only a few that i did like again i will list them on the screen my father actually really enjoyed it because he's never had this type of alcohol in his life which is so funny to me but i was pleasantly surprised to see that they offered so many things outside of the moonshine they had jams, they had candles, they had seasonings, you name it, and obviously merch, and even hot sauce. Like, what? <laughs> Again, I could go on and on about Gallenberg, but literally, guys, it's so amazing. It's definitely worth visiting, so book that trip, guys. I'm telling you, you will not regret it.
All right, so this is December 25th. It is Christmas Day. We did decide to go on a spontaneous trip yet again to Laurel Falls in Gallenberg. Initially, I wanted to show my siblings the Clean Men's Dome, but unfortunately, the roads were closed because of the weather. The views in the Smoky Mountains are to die for. What I recommend is for you guys to go during a season where the Clean Men's Dome is available and is open because it is top tier. If you are a person that loves nature and loves to hike, you have to visit. Anyway, so I'll let you guys enjoy the road view and us killing ourselves going on this hike. <laughs> Laurel Falls was so beautiful and majestic because it was frozen over. It's just so beautiful. But this is us on the following day because it was checkout day, December 26th. We did end up going to Pancake Pantry, which guys, I'm sorry, but like I'm going to have to give my honest review. The drinks were good. Like don't get me wrong, the hot chocolate and my son's orange juice was fantastic. Like was tasty. But look at this. Tell me, does this look very appetizing? To me, it just wasn't worth the wait, nor the hype, or the price. It was just average, but the service was good. We are now at Z Olive, and we finally were able to get here because my husband really wanted to do the olive oil tastings, and they were open on the 26th. So we did do balsamic vinegar tastings and olive oil tastings. I personally enjoyed more the balsamic vinegars, and so did my taller, which was super surprising. I will list on the screen the ones that I found pleasant. And then, of course, my husband has an acquired taste for olive oils, and he really enjoyed the ones that they had there as well. Let me know in the comments down below if you're also obsessed with olive oil and if you actually enjoy olive oil tastings because my husband would love to see your comment. As for myself, I would love to know your questions or comments on today's video. Did you enjoy today's travel vlog? Have you guys been to Gallenberg before? What would you recommend me going to next or visiting? Have you tried their ciders, wines, or moonshine? Let me know down below in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload my next video. Until next time, bye!